Zebra English family. My name is Teacher Joanne and I am with MyZebraEnglishJourney.com. If you need any information about Zebra English or want to apply to work through the application or need a hiring um, coach or someone to help you through the process and walk you through it, uh, it's a great help if you do because the Zebra English process is just a little bit different than most other platforms, but it's well worth the time that you put into it and the, what all you have to work through to become an, a Zebra English teacher. And you'll realize that you're part of an outstanding team that's like a family, that they will not overhire, that they will give you bookings, that you will have 70% of your PPT times booked if you choose Zebra, Zebra English. They're going to make sure that no one teacher gets all the slots, that they're, as much as they can, try to divide those out evenly between the teachers um, as you open up your slots. So it's just an amazing platform. I love being a part of it. And if you would like to come and try out and be a part of the Zebra English family, then please reach out to me through Facebook, my email, this website, um, my YouTube video comments, wherever. Just reach out to me and I'll get back with you and help you along that process. Now, today I wanted to talk with you about a couple slides that are in the demo. And we have the resource videos for them, but sometimes applicants get confused. And one of them is the whack-a-mole game that you will play. Now, in the resource videos and with our levels, there are a couple different whack-a-mole games. One is an interactive game between the students, and that's in level three. And then the other one is a game that is in level two, and it's not interactive. Only the teacher um, commands the game and has interaction with it, not the student and the teacher. So pay attention to that when you are applying. And let me just um, tell you a little bit about how to do the one that is in the demo called My Feelings. Now that one has three numbers at the top, one, two, and three. When you click on those numbers um, at, on this whack-a-mole game, it will have like a letter. And if the letter is M, then um, you'll see that M and you can get this student to say that however you want to work this game but just let me tell you how the game works the game works that when you press number one that first word pops up and then you can teach that word or see if the student knows it however you want to do it um, i usually try to get student output first and see if they know the word and then i will teach it um, if they don't know it but that word will pop up now there's nothing that i can do on the screen like with that hammer or that the student can do. The only thing that will pop the next one up and make that hammer move is the number two. So go back up to the number two, click it. When you click it, whack, the hammer comes down and whacks the mole, the number one mole down that has the first word on it. And then number two pops up and I'm like, you know, and it pops up and you see the second word. And so again, you go through the process that however you want to deliver or teach that word. And then again, nothing you can do with the hammer until you click number three. And when you click the number three up there, then the hammer will come down and whack that second mole on the head, make that word go down, and the third word pops up. And then you do the same thing with the third word. Now, after the third word, there's no bopping it back down. You just have to leave it that way. Because if you click number one again, it's the hammer still doesn't come down on number three. Number one just pops up and number three goes down. So that's how you play the whack-a-mole game in level two, which is also in the My Feelings demo. So I hope that helps you differentiate between the two. Um, please don't get those mixed up because you will be very, um, just like you don't know what's going on and anxious and not knowing why it's not working like the demo showed it. So really pay attention to that in your um, demo classroom that you're gonna practice in um, before you come to the interview. All right, I hope that helps. I'll have some other videos explaining some different parts of the um, 
demo that we have for you to try out with and hopefully it will help you know the games a little bit better and what Zebra English expects from you as teachers. All right, again, if you can subscribe below to my channel, that would be a big help because I'm just starting out learning and I would love to have you, you don't even have to watch them, but anybody that subscribes just helps my channel out. So thank you if you do that and I will be glad to help anyone or answer any questions that you have about Zebra English um, or any other um, info that you have about teaching ESL. I also help um, teachers that don't know how to teach ESL but have experience with working with children. You just need to know sort of how to teach online. I can also coach you that way. So again, just reach out to me and I'll be glad to help. All right. Goodbye.